Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, you are going to learn about how to aggregate data using group by and ag functions. As a data scientist, it's common to perform aggregations on data sets to extract valuable insights. In Python, the pandas library provides powerful tools like data aggregation functions. So group by is uh, one of the powerful uh, and versatile functions of Python pandas library that allows you to split your data into separate groups to perform computations to better analysis. It also allows you to group a data frame by one or more columns and perform operations on the resulting groups. And ag function is an alias for aggregation. Use the alias, it enables you to apply aggregation functions to group with data. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can aggregate data using group by and ag functions. Let's try to see an example. First of all, let's let's uh, have a sample data, a sample data set, which uh, it has uh, gender and total uh, columns. So this sample data is look like uh, this. Let's try to see the sample data. So this is the sample data, the column gender, uh, is there male or female? And the number of, uh, uh, the total number of uh, gender for each group. In this uh, data set, I'm going to group uh, by gender and uh, count and sum the total number of uh, each group. So the group by uh, function allow you to uh, split your data into uh, each group uh, by gender. And I'm going to just aggregate uh, using different functions like summation, mean, count, and so on. Okay, first of all, let's do, this is the data, the data frame, dot group by, then uh, by what uh, column uh, that you are going to group your data. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a gender. A gender is, uh, a gender column has uh, two, uh, categories, male or female, and there are different uh, sizes uh, in each uh, row. Then I apply aggregation function uh, in the total uh, column, in the total column in each group. Then uh, I pass a parameters sum, mean, and count. It just sum the summation of uh, uh, the total number of uh, male or female uh, in each group and mean is the average uh, of uh, each group and count is uh, how many number of male uh, and female in each uh, group okay the results could be uh, look like this uh, female uh, the sum is 114 and like this and the count is five females total number of females and in male there are seven and we have uh, 15 i mean uh, 12 uh, number of uh, rows in this data. Then I just uh, reset the index and rename the columns to make it uh, more readable and structured data. Okay. Then uh, I use that aggregated data dot reset index uh, and aggregated data dot columns to rename the columns and I pass the list of newly uh, renamed columns in this. Uh, columns. Then this is the well-structured data, uh, which is grouped uh, by gender. So we have two groups in this uh, data, male and female. So the total number of male and females are calculated, and the mean of male and females also calculated, and the count, the total number of uh, female and uh, male are uh, in each group are cal uh, calculated or counted. So this is the way how you can uh, apply uh, group by and aggregation. So this is the most essential uh, function that you wanna just uh, separate your data into different groups and make it uh, more uh, 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 better for data analysis. 
so i hope you enjoyed in this video uh, don't forget to subscribe like share uh, this video thanks for watching today